this video is wait for academic purpose only otherwise take the services of a professional in this video we will look at a brief introduction of the programming language c++ C++ was designed by Bjorn Strostrup of AT&T Bell Labs in la late 1980s. The extension of C started in 1979 at Bell Labs. The initial name was C with classes and later in 1983 it was named C++ as it was an increment to C. Since C came first, probably that is why post increment operator plus plus. The first formal NC based release of C document was in the form of a book by Margaret A. Ellis and Bjorn Strostrup in 1990, which specifies the language. Second edition of uh, uh, Strostrup's book on C was published in 1991. 3rd edition in 2000 and 4th edition in 2013. This mentions C++11. C++ standard document is International Standard, the C language, X3J1614882. X3J16 committee of NC was convened in 1989 and final C++ standard ISO IEC 1482 was ratified in 1998. Number of software houses produce C++ compilers. Let's look at them. First is Turbo C++. This must be given credit to popularize C++ programming on PCs. Turbo C++ 3.0 Borland produced in 1992 to college computing environment by Storm. It is so popular that even till recently most of teaching in C++ is done through it. This product and the timely book by Robert Leffer must be considered the best combination to learn C++. Now it assumes that MS-DOS must be the platform. It had support for assembly language programming and basic input-output system and DOS support through DOS.h header file. It is to be noted that this header file is not a standard C++ header file. Turbo C++ 3.0 had tlib.exe turbo librarian and tlink.exe turbo linker as part of the product under command prompt. The product had a command line compiler tcc.exe but unfortunately most of, uh, most of the people don't even use it. Then comes Borland C++. Two of Borland C++ products were most accepted. Borland C++ 4.5 released in 1995 and Borland C++ 5.0 and its variants released in 1997. These products are very rich in library support, debugging, project management, profiling, help system, etc. The best thing I like about these compilers is that they offer the support for generating code for 16-bit DOS, 16-bit Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows 3.1 and 32-bit Windows. They have command line version bcc.exe for 16-bit and bcc32.exe for 32-bit as part of the product. The Microsoft C++ Microsoft Corporation has a rich history of producing compilers and tools for C++ language. Microsoft has dominated the world of C++ programming since its Windows operating systems were released. The only C++ compiler that Microsoft produced for DOS was Microsoft C, C++ 7.0 released in 1992. It had a very powerful IDE and a very useful and exciting class library known as Microsoft Foundation Class Library, which later became industry standard. With the release of Windows operating systems, Microsoft started 
keeping only visual C++ compilers in different flavors. For example, standard edition, academic edition, professional edition, and enterprise edition. Visual C++ 1.0, 1 1.5 1 and its variants, 2.0 and its variants, 4.0 and its variants, 5.0 and 6.0 were produced. Version 4.0 gained huge popularity, probably due to its support for 32-bit operating system Windows 95. With version 4.0, only 32-bit applications can be generated. Version 6.0 was most popular edition till 2010. All Visual C++ compilers have very strong project management utility, strong FFC, powerful IDE, debugger, process tracer, etc. The latest Visual C++ is 12.0 through Visual Studio. Then comes Linux G++. Linux provides default C++ compiler G++. Latest G++ has provision for switching to C++11, C++14 and C++17 also. Use dash std equal to C++11 or dash std equal to C++14 or dash std C++17 for the purpose. That is all in this video. For more videos, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.